Did you know that 85% of men can't tell when they're being cheated on? Shocking, right? But don't worry today, I'm going to share some valuable insights that could completely change the way you view your relationship. Before we dive in, if you want to become an expert in understanding the female mind and transform your love life, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you never miss my videos packed with tips that could save your relationship or help you find a new one. Now, let's get to the point. Men, pay close attention because what I'm about to reveal might unlock some of the darkest mysteries of female behavior. Ever heard that women are masters at hiding their true intentions? That's not just a myth. When it comes to infidelity, women tend to be much more subtle and cunning than men. While you might leave obvious clues when being unfaithful, women have a way of concealing their actions that borders on artistry. But don't despair. Today I'm revealing the six phrases every woman uses when she's cheating phrases that most men overlook. What if your partner's words are trying to tell you something you've never noticed? Do you really know what's happening in your relationship? Has your woman ever said one of these six phrases without you suspecting a thing? Don't miss a second of this. This information could be the difference between living in a lie or discovering the truth that could change your life forever. Let's begin. 1. So and so understands what I'm going through so well. If your partner starts frequently mentioning someone else, especially in a positive or admiring way, it's time to raise a red flag. Phrases like so and so understands what I'm going through so well may seem innocent at first, but they're often much more significant. This kind of comment hints at her building an emotional connection with someone else, a bond that could deepen over time. This isn't just a harmless comparison, it's her subtly planting the idea that someone outside your relationship understands her better than you. If she's constantly comparing you to this person or praising them, it's crucial to investigate who they are and what role they play in her life. Pay attention and take action before it's too late. 2. Don't worry, I'm just going out with some friends. This phrase might seem innocent and routine, but in many cases, it hides deeper layers of complexity. When someone is engaging in deceitful behavior, they often use seemingly plausible excuses to mask their true intentions. If she's repeatedly using this phrase or if you notice inconsistencies in her stories, it's time to pay closer attention. The more often she says this, the more you should investigate to protect your relationship. 3. I need more space for myself. At first, this might sound like a healthy request for balance in the relationship, but be careful. This desire for space could be a way to create opportunities for behaviors that threaten your relationship's fidelity. If this need for space results in her becoming emotionally or physically distant, it's a sign something may be wrong. 4. I'm working late tonight. Working late is one of the most common excuses used to cover up secret meetings or extended periods away from home. If this becomes a frequent occurrence, it's crucial to pay attention to her behavior and her story details. Inconsistencies or sudden changes in her routine might point to a deeper issue. 5. I think we need some time apart. When your partner suggests a break, it may seem like an honest attempt to fix issues, but it can also be a cover for her to pursue other relationships without you interfering. This proposal can create the perfect opportunity for her to explore a new relationship or to get involved in something more serious behind your back. If this comes out of nowhere, something may be off. 6. So-and-so understands what I'm going through so well. Phrases like, so-and-so understands me so well aren't just casual remarks. They often signify that she's forming an emotional connection with that person. Emotional bonds can sometimes be more dangerous than physical affairs because they are built on trust, empathy, and shared experiences, things that should only exist between you two. Think about it. If she's constantly comparing you to this so-and-so or praising him, it's not just about admiration. She's likely planting the seed in her own mind and yours that this person understands her more deeply and accurately than you do. This comparison is a slippery slope that can lead to emotional involvement and eventually something more. What should you do? Pay attention to how often she talks about this person. Is he becoming a frequent topic in your conversations? Does she mention him more than she talks about you or other close friends? If so, it's time to ask yourself who this person really is in her life. Understanding this early on could prevent things from escalating to a point where it's too late to fix the damage. 7. Don't worry, I'm just going out with some friends. On the surface, this might sound innocent. Everyone needs time with friends, right? But when someone is engaging in deceitful behavior, they often use seemingly plausible excuses to cover up what's really happening. Saying I'm just going out with some friends may be one of those excuses designed to lull you into a sense of security while she does something entirely different. The reality. When a woman is being unfaithful, she may frequently use outings with friends as a cover for her actual intentions. If you've noticed this phrase being used more frequently, or if the stories surrounding these outings don't quite add up, you should start to pay closer attention. Are these friends people you know? Has she been more vague lately when discussing her plans? These are all potential signs that her activities might not be as harmless as they appear. 
Additionally, be cautious of sudden changes in behavior when she's out. If she's uncharacteristically distant, avoiding communication during these outings, or if there are inconsistencies in her timeline, it may indicate that something else is going on. What should you do? You don't want to be paranoid, but if this phrase starts to become routine, take a moment to reflect on her actions and any recent changes in your relationship. Trust your gut. 8. I need more space for myself. It's common for people in relationships to seek balance between togetherness and personal space. However, if your partner suddenly starts requesting more space, especially out of the blue, it might mean something entirely different. When a woman asks for space, she may actually be creating opportunities for herself to spend time away from you, potentially with someone else. Of course, not every request for space is a sign of cheating. But if this behavior is coupled with emotional or physical distance, it's a red flag. Has she started avoiding spending time with you? Does she seem more interested in being away from home? And does she suddenly have plans that don't include you? The request for space could be a subtle way of creating opportunities for behaviors that don't align with the commitment in your relationship. What should you do? Monitor her actions and communication. Does she seem emotionally distant even when you're together? Is she starting to engage in activities that exclude you entirely? If so, it's worth having an open and honest conversation to understand what's truly going on. 9. I'm working late tonight. I'm working late is one of the most commonly used excuses in cases of infidelity. Work is often used as a convenient cover for extended periods away from home, giving her the perfect opportunity to meet someone else without raising suspicion. If this becomes a frequent occurrence, and if it's paired with extended absences, less communication, or unusual behavior, it's time to dig deeper. While work obligations do happen, if the timing and frequency of these late nights suddenly increase without a clear reason, it could be masking something else. Look for patterns. Does she become defensive when you ask about her long hours? Does she avoid specifics about what she's working on or who she's working with? These are potential signs that she's hiding something. What should you do? Pay attention to changes in her routine. If work starts taking precedence over her time with you and you notice inconsistencies in her stories, it may be time to question what's really going on. Check for subtle signs, like her being vague or secretive about her job activities, or if she becomes unusually irritable when asked about her whereabouts. 10. I think we need some time apart. When a woman suggests that you need time apart, it might initially sound like an honest attempt to address and fix issues in your relationship. However, this phrase often carries a much deeper meaning. Requesting a break or space could be her way of creating emotional and physical distance, giving her the freedom to explore other relationships or infidelity without your interference. This break could be a convenient opportunity for her to test the waters elsewhere while keeping you in the dark. If this suggestion comes up suddenly, without any prior discussion or context, it might signal that something is seriously wrong. She may be using this time apart as a way to test your reaction or even justify her actions. What should you do? If she brings this up, it's important to ask questions. What does she hope to accomplish by taking time apart? Is she really trying to work on the relationship or is she trying to distance herself for other reasons? Listen carefully to how she frames the conversation as it may reveal her true intentions. 11. You deserve someone better than me. When a woman says you deserve someone better than me, it's a phrase loaded with emotional weight. On the surface, it may sound like she's being humble or considerate, but in reality, this could be a sign of guilt or regret over inappropriate behavior. By telling you this, she might be subtly preparing you for a future breakup or justifying her actions in a way that shifts the blame away from her. It's her way of saying, it's not you, it's me, without directly admitting to what's really going on. What should you do? If she says this, don't brush it off. Consider it as a red flag and take the time to explore what might be happening beneath the surface. If you notice other suspicious behaviors alongside this phrase, it could be an indication that she's involved in something she knows is wrong but doesn't want to admit.